Hello and welcome to Learn Tagalog Lesson 4-1. My name is Alan. In this video we will begin Lesson 4. Okay, This particular video will be an introduction to some of the things we're going to look at in that uh, the full lesson, Lessons 4-1, 4-2 and so forth. Okay, What uh, this particular video is going to get into is a conversation on the street and one man is going to be asking another man uh, for directions to the bus station and we're going to use as I said this video uh, or this conversation as the basis for uh, the upcoming videos as well there'll be more after that in lesson four but we're going to at least start out by focusing on this conversation okay now the method that I want to use for this particular video is we're going to listen to and read the dialogue and then I'm going to go through each of the uh, sentences and even the words in the uh, dialogue and talk about each of them briefly. All right, And then we're going to listen to the whole thing again while we're reading through the dialogue. And that will give you some good basis or fr uh, framework for where we're going to go in the next few videos. Okay, So let's get into it. First of all, let's just listen to this dialogue and read along with it. It's a little bit fast paced so go ahead and hang in there. I did slow down the video or the audio believe it or not uh, but uh, it's a little still a little bit quick for somebody first listening to this. So let's sit back watch the uh, video read through the words as the conversation goes on. Now I do want to mention this was uh, recorded on the street there is some background noise, um, you know, there's honking of horns and so forth you're going to hear. That's typical. Uh, just get used to um, being able to pick up on conversations in any environment like that. All right, let's listen. Maaari po bang magtanong? Oo, pwede. Ano yun? Paano po ba ang pagpunta sa istasyon ng bus? Sa kantong ito, kumanang ka. Dumiretso ka hanggang sa Rizal Avenue. Sa kaliwa mo, makikita mo ang istasyon ng bus. Hindi ko po naiintindihan. Pakiulit po ninyo. Sa kantong ito, kumanan ka. Dumiretso ka hanggang sa Rizal Avenue. Sa kaliwa mo, makikita mo ang istasyon ng bus. Gaano kalayo rito ang istasyon? Mga sampung minuto sa jeep. Mabuti pa mag-jeep ka. Marami pong salamat sa tulong ninyo. Wala nga naman. Okay. Very good. That's the conversation. Now what we're going to do is go through each of these sentences and let me just talk about them a little bit and get you a better feel for it. And then afterwards we're going to listen to that whole conversation one more time. First of all, starting with this word up here, ma'aari. Okay, there's three A's in there. Ma, and you, you uh, pronounce each one individually. Ma a ari, like that. Ma a ari, okay. And we know po, we know ba. And there's the ng linker. Mag tanong to ask a question. Tanong is question, okay. Mag tanong is to ask a question. Mag tanong. Can ask a question. Now there is no I in there. There's not. You know who's asking the question. You just have to uh, kind of translate it as, can one ask a question? You know, ma'aari means can. There's another word right below there, puede, puede. That is from the Spanish, okay? And that is also, uh, that also means can. Now, when I first learned this type of phrase, I learned puede po bang maktano, puede po bang maktano, can, can one ask a question? They mean identically the same thing. Ma'aari po bang magtano? That's fine. Puede po bang magtano? Either one means, can one ask a question? Or can I ask a question? And normally you would do that if you're going to visit somebody or see somebody on the street. You just don't start talking to them like that and ask them a question. You would ask first, is it okay if I ask a question? You know, may I ask a question? Sure. Now, they will often answer something like puede, can, okay? In this case, they're actually saying, oh, oh, puede, 
or yes, can. Now they're not saying yes, you can, they're just saying yes, can. And then um, sometimes it's just puede. Okay, normally they won't they won't say just uh oh, but they, they will normally say puede. And then ano ion. And they pronounce it fast, anion, anion. Okay. Ano means what? And ion can mean that or that over there or this uh, or it over there. Okay. Something at a distance. Now in this case doesn't really matter you're they're asking a question so they're saying yes can what is it what it what it what is it okay what is the question and then we'll go to the next one paano 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 means how asking a question like how how do you do something paano paano po bang pagpunta sa station ng bus now the way I look at pagunta is the it's like the act of going somewhere okay and you're asking how do I go to the bus station how do I go to the bus station so pagunta punta means go or to go just means go punta okay and pagunta is sort of the is like um, you you'll see it sometimes pronounced or uh, it translated as going going okay I like to think of it as the act of going or when you're going okay as in um, more like the act of going okay so you're asking how do you um, how do you go to the bus station is station nung bus station of bus okay bus station the last sentence on this particular screen we get into canto, canto, canto is corner, at a you know like a corner on a street, canto. Ito means this, ito, canto ito, canto ito, this or it, but it's close by, something close by. Okay, so he's saying sa. Well, we know we know that word, right? It's like to, in, at. It's a lot of different things on. Um, they're saying at corner this. Okay. So at this corner, kumanin ka. Now, we're going to learn in the next few videos that kanan is to the right. It means right. Kumanin means turn right. Okay. Kanan is right. Kumanin is turn right. Ka, we know that word, that's you. Turn right, you. You turn right. At this corner, you turn right. Okay? Let's look at the next one. Dumerecho. Now, derecho means straight or straight ahead. Derecho. Now, notice the um, I'm going to talk about that in the upcoming videos. Um is a way to take the the direction straight and make it into a verb dumerecho turn or I'm sorry go straight go straight you ka right is you so go straight you or you go straight hangang is until until hangang sa rizal avenue I'm going to use this sa as an at, okay, until at Rizal Avenue. So you go straight ahead, you go straight ahead until at Rizal Avenue. Good. All right. Let's move on. The next one is Sakaliwa Mo. Well, Kanan means right. Kaliwa means left. So at left your so or you can even say on left your on your left on your left okay or at your left or on your left makikita makita means to see when you see the double up kiki like that makikita it means in the future we'll see you will see okay we'll see by you the 
station nung bus. So what are we saying? On left your, on your left, we'll see by you the bus station. So on your left, you will see the bus station. So back up to the top there again. Go straight ahead until at Rizal Avenue. On your left, you will see the bus station. Great. Okay, now the guy was talking a little fast, so the person listening said, Hindi ko po na iintindihan. What that means is, intindi means to understand. Okay? Na iintindihan, understanding. Hindi, that's no. Ko, my or by me. And Hindi can also mean uh, not. So not by me, understanding. In other words, I don't understand. So he just said all this stuff about how to get there. And then the guy said, I don't understand. All right. Hindi ko po na intindihan. Let's go to the next one. Then he says, Paki ulit po ninyo. Ninyo, remember that is like your. It's like um, the plural version of mo, you, or, or your, but it's plural. And he is ter talking only one person, but he's talking respectfully. So he's using the plural of your. Niño. Okay? Paki ulit po niño. Paki ulit. Ulit means repeat. Okay? Paki is a prefix that means please. So, paki ulit. Please repeat by you. And then po, of course, is in there as a respectful um, uh, term. Okay? Please, re please repeat by you, sir. You can think of it that way. Okay, so then what does he do? He goes through the whole thing again. <laughs> At corner this, you turn right. Go straight ahead. Or you go straight ahead, there's Ka. You go straight ahead until at Rizal Avenue. Okay? On left of you, or on your left, we'll see by you the station Nongbus. So on your left, you will see the bus station. Great. Okay, so then he says, Gaano Kalayo. Gaano Kalayo. Gaano Kalayo. How far? Okay, Gaano, we're going to learn about in the, pre, in the coming up uh, videos. Um, it's kind of like, um, you, you, like Makano. Makano means how much, but that means how much something is. How much does it cost? Makano. Makano ito. How much is this? Um, paano is how. Okay, we learned that one. Paano. But gaano means how much in terms of weight or distance. Okay? And in this case, they're asking about distance. Now, it's interesting with gaano, and I'll get into this in the later videos, but gaano, um, if you're going to refer to something like distance, Malayo starts with a M. Malayo is far, okay? Um, but if you're going to use Gaano, you're going to use a K there. I'll talk about that later in the other videos, but I just want to mention that. Every time I see Kalayo like that, um, I always think about that. When I first learned that if it's Malayo, you actually take off the M and put a K in the front instead because you're using Gaano. Gaano, Kalayo, how far... Rito. Now we learned in the last lesson that Dito with a D is um, here, right? Well, Rito is like its brother, okay? The only reason R is in there is because it comes after that that uh, vowel right there in Calayo. So Calayo Rito. Ang station. Okay? How far here the station? And they're asking, how far from here is the station? Okay? And then he goes on to say, Manga sampung 
min, minuto, sajit. Okay? Manga, we learn that as a pluralizer. That, like, uh, say, bahai, that means house. Manga, bahai, means houses. All right? Well, manga can also be used as the word about. Okay? Like, um, I, used, I use it more with time, like, um, or money, how much something cost. But, uh, like, uh, manga, say, you, you want to say about one o'clock. Manga a la una. Okay, a la una means one o'clock. Manga a la una means about one o'clock. Well, in this case, he's saying sampung minuto. Sampu means ten. Sampung minuto means ten minutes. About ten minutes. In a jeep. Okay, in jeep. A jeep is a, a jeepney. You've probably seen pictures of them before if you've studied anything about the Philippines. Um, they're awesome. They're fun to be in. I just love jeeps or jeepneys. And um, uh, he's basically saying it's about five minutes by jeep. Okay, or in a jeep. And then he says, Mabuti. Well, remember that? Mabuti naman. You know, kumusta po kayo? Mabuti naman. At kayo? We, we, we did all that early, early videos in this uh, course. Well, Mabuti means fine. Pa. Pa is yet. Okay, or still. So, fine still, mag jeep ka. Mug. We had talked about mug verbs before. Um, I might have even mentioned mug shopping. You know, it's an English word, shop, to go shopping. Mug shopping. Or you want to drink coffee, cafe. Um, you can say mug cafe, okay, to drink, let's go drink coffee. Um, mug jeep means take the jeep, okay? Mug jeep ka. Better yet, to take the jeep, okay? So hopefully that makes some sense. Let's go on. Marami pong salamat sa tulong ninyo. Marami. Uh, remember that. Um, I think I covered that. We talked about maraming salamat. Okay. Salamat is thank you. Marami means many. Maraming salamat means many thanks. Okay. Or thanks a lot. In this case, we have po in here. Po has the linker. Okay. Nung. So it's pong. Salamat. So we have marami, many, pong, Salamat, thank you, or many thanks. Sa, tulong, so, and basically you're saying for, um, with the use of sa, there is an actual word for for, we'll cover later, but in this case, um, thank you, uh, thank you, thanks a lot for help of you. Tulong is help, okay? Nino, of you, it's plural. And then he says, Walang Anuman. Walang Anuman. Walang Anuman is often translated as, you're welcome. But what it really means is, it's like saying in English, um, oh, it's nothing. You know, you just help somebody and they said, hey, thanks a lot. And you said, that's nah, nothing. Um, basically, wala means nothing, right? And Anuman, uh, anuman means whatsoever. So you can say nothing whatsoever. In other words, well, it's nothing. You know, that's how it works. So hopefully that quick little uh, rundown through each of those words and sentences makes some sense to you. What I'd like to do is listen to the whole dialogue one more time with this new knowledge that we have, understanding a little bit more about what these sentences are saying and what the words actually mean. Okay. So again, kick back, listen, and read along as they talk. Here we go. Maaari po bang magtanong? Oo, pwede. Ano yun? Paano po ba ang pagpunta sa istasyon ng bus? Sa kanto nito, kumanang ka. Dumiretso ka hanggang sa Rizal Avenue. Sa kaliwa mo, makikita mo ang istasyon ng bus. Hindi ko po naiintindihan. Pakiulit po ninyo. Sa kanto nito, kumanang ka. Dumiretso ka hanggang sa Rizal Avenue. Sa kaliwa mo, makikita mo ang istasyon ng bus. Gaano kalayo rito ang istasyon? Mga sampung minuto sa jeep. Mabuti pa mag-jeep ka. Marami pong salamat sa tulong ninyo. Wala nga naman. Very good. I hope you enjoyed that. 
All right, so that was uh, the end of lesson 4-1 right here, and we're going to continue with this conversation in the next few videos. I'm going to go into some of these words again and talk more about each of those, and uh, also just to help reinforce it. You know, you can sit there and go listen to that over and over again, but I think this one-on-one -on -one, uh, back-and-forth little thing that we do helps you to remember these words better. I know it helped me when I was learning this way, so I wanted to um, be able to provide the same sort of thing for you. As always, if you like this video, go ahead and hit like at the bottom there if you're watching this on YouTube. And um, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so, okay? And you'll be informed when new uh, videos get put up. Thanks a lot. Maraming maraming salamat.